Welcome to See the Invisible Stuff. That's the name of the YouTube channel, spelled just like that. See the Invisible Stuff. Check the videos out. If you like a video, like the video and subscribe. What I want to talk about in this video is something that happened when I was about 13 years of age. Something that was very strange. I remember I was around my house and I was playing with some of my friends when, when I was younger. And I overheard them talking and one of them was talking about something and he made it sound very comical. So I wanted to know what was funny. And he was talking about something that happened on this videotape. And I asked him, could I use the videotape so I could see, you know, what was so funny. And he agreed to let me use the tape. And we continued to play and I forgot to get the videotape from him. And this kept happening. I'll, I'll go down to where they were. I'll, you know, we'll play. I'll mention the tape. He will always agree to let me use the tape. And we'll always forget to make the exchange happen. This, this went on for a good while. Until one time I asked him about the tape. And instead of waiting, he went inside right away. And he gave me the videotape. And as soon as he gave me the tape, I went home right away to put the videotape in. Now, the thing that was ironic about this date, when I was younger, someone was always home. Either my mama, my daddy, um, an older sibling, or somebody was always home. Ironically, this day, nobody was home. So I went inside. And I rushed to my room and I hurry up and put that videotape in. Now, if you know anything about VCRs back in the day, if you put a bad tape in, the, the power might go out and that VCR or it might spit the tape out. You'll have to check it, try it again, and so forth. When I put this videotape in, the power went out in the entire house. Everything. I rushed outside, hit the circuit breaker, cut everything back on, ran back to the room, put the videotape back in. The power went out in the entire house once again. Ran back outside, hit the circuit breaker, rushed back to my room, grabbed the tape, and said, that's it. You know, I'm, I'm done. I went back by my friend's house to give him the tape. But before I saw that friend, I saw another one of our friends, and I asked him, could he give the videotape to the friend who initially gave me the tape? He agreed to do so. But what I found out was, he would go put the tape in at his house. And he told me all the power went out at his house before he gave it back to our other friend. And once it got back to the other friend, who initially gave me the tape, he said that he put the stuff in at his house. And all the power went out on one side of his house and the plug stopped working for about a week and a half. Now all of us are grown men now and from time to time we talk about it. Another thing that I found out about this tape. The friend who initially gave it to me, once we talked about it uh, fairly recently, I asked him, you know, about the tape and what he thought about it. He said that he felt like a bad spirit was on that tape. Because he told me one, uh, one of the things that was on the tape was a satanic ritual. Uh, somebody, people was getting ready to do a satanic ritual. They had cut up baby body parts and human blood and the police raided the satanic ritual. And... He said he felt like they had a bad spirit on that tape. My other friend, who I gave it to, to give to that friend, he said that he felt like God didn't want me to see that tape. I still don't know which one it is for certain, but I know it was something very strange about that tape. And this is something I found out about it that I didn't know until I discussed it with the person who initially gave me the tape. He told me it did that at other people's homes as well. He said he would loan it to somebody, it would make the power go out in their house. So it wasn't just my house, it wasn't just my friend's house, it was anybody who was getting their hands on this tape. So something was up with that tape. Now what I do know, I don't know if it was God, I don't know if it was Satan, but I do know both God and Satan is real. And the supernatural experience, supernatural things do take place. I know that from first-hand experience that supernatural things take place. Very supernatural things. So, I know that first-hand. And what I do know is, a lot of things get... First of all, we, we overlook things happening outside of this realm that we live in because we're so used to seeing, feeling, touching everything around us that sometimes we can overlook that the, the spiritual side of things. And a lot of things nowadays get dressed up as just no big deal. But it has spiritual consequences. Like 
a Ouija board. I remember around that same time when I was about 14, they used to show this commercial on Toys R Us. It was a Ouija board. They didn't name it a Ouija board, but the advertisement went like this. They had a, a, a kid asking, will his parents let him go to the dance this Friday night? And he had this board in front of him, and the thing was just like moving on its own, spelling out the answer for him. Even back then, I knew that's a Ouija board. That's not just some toy, but it was being sold in Toys R Us. It was being dressed up like it was no big deal, just another thing. But you're dealing with a, something that's very spiritual with that Ouija board. And I knew that back in the day. I wouldn't want no parts of something that's moving on its own anyway. Plus, I knew what this was. I remember when I was a little kid, elementary school age, there was this game, some people might have heard of it, called Bloody Mary, where people would, you're supposed to do a number of things three times, and then this lady just supposed to appear. You cut this off three times, run the water three times, flush the water, flush the toilet three times, and then something's supposed to appear out of the blue. See, that kind of stuff to get dressed up as some kitty little game stuff, but you can be dealing with some supernatural things. That's why we need to be mindful and cautious of what we just dabble in. Don't just take stuff for granted. Don't just look at something as, oh, it's just harmless. It's because it's been dressed up as harmless or dressed up as no big deal. Does it have some spiritual consequences? That's the question. That, and it still happens today because I, I know some kids who were about 12 and they told me that they had this game where people would do something with, with pencils at their school and some of them would start moving on their own and one of the little kids I know said he knew about this game ahead of time and once they started he just took off. He, he wanted no parts of it. But I made this video to say, yeah we're living in this natural world but the supernatural world is real so we need to be mindful of things that we do even if it's dressed up as no big deal because there could be spiritual consequences to it. And yes, God is definitely real. Satan is definitely real. But Jesus is more powerful, you know. Jesus, Jesus, is, Jesus is the ultimate one. That's the one. He's, he, he has all power, even over Satan. So that's that. 